Wild one guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at you with today's video, which is all about pond foam. So, let's go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some foam on here, and we've also got some foam on here. While we're talking about foam, let's feed some fish. There are some absolute gems in here. There can be various different reasons in regards to why we get pom foam. And it's a relatively simple fix, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Reason number one on why you can get pom foam is lack of filtration. If the bio load of your pond cannot handle the fish waste and the fish byproducts, i.e. uneaten food, you're going to get higher proteins in your water column, which in turn is going to cause this foam. Reason number two, if you are overstocked, if your pond is overstocked, i.e. like I am here, then you're naturally going to get some foam. Reason number three is too much food. If you are aggressively, heavily overfeeding, fish in turn are going to produce more waste. There's going to be a lot more uneaten, uneaten food in the water column, which in turn is going to cause you to have high volumes of foam in your water column. A surefire way to fix it is by going through on a trial and error basis. Yes, you can get protein skimmers, which in essence just bubbles up like this. You put a funnel over the top with a hose and then it basically acts as a reactor, which if you are interested in seeing me build one of those, let me know in the comment section down below and I will go ahead and build one. But first off, know your pond. I know I'm getting pond foam in here, not massive amounts, but little bits due to the fact that I'm growing these guys on and I am absolutely pounding in the food. These guys get fed literally three times a day. I also know that I'm also overstocked, pounding the food in, but my filtration is absolutely fine. So I'm actually filtering this water over four times an hour. The typical is between sort of one and a half to two times an hour, which is what you want to be aiming for, the filtration wise on your ponds. Now, I know on a Thursday slash Friday, that that is when my foam is starting to appear because I am due to backwash the filters. And it's relatively simple to do that. All I have to do is take off the bottom rung there, attach on my drainage, and then put it out through the uh, drain hole down the side. And it is literally as simple as that. No fads, no gimmicks, no nothing. As you can see, when there's a lot of water movement as well, it will also help to displace the pond. When it's displacing the pond, it's actually gonna to start to get rid of the pond foam that's sitting on top of your water column. So it's literally as simple as that. Know your pond, know what you're doing. If you've got massive amounts of ponds, cut back on feeding for seven days. The fish, I can assure you, will be absolutely fine. So step one, cut back on your feeds. Step two, backwash your filters. Step three, give, you, give your filters a deep clean if you really, really need to, if you've got loads, and I mean loads of pond foam. If that doesn't cure it, then you know it's down to filtration and you need to increase your filtration. And there's various different methods to doing that. You can add on a new pressurized, you can add on a backy shower, you can add on a cockney koi, you can add on a sand filter, you can add on a bead filter. It's just about knowing, A, the volume of water that you guys have got, and then also how much filtration that you're gonna need for that volume of water. But as you can see, it's not horrendous, but it is there. We all suffer from it. It's just one of them things, as your filters are bouncing back from winter, 
obviously they're going to be low on the beneficial bacteria so you can always add in some filter start or something like that which in turn is massively going to decrease the amount of pond, uh, pond foam that you've got in your pond but that's it short sharp fast no gimmicks no fads no nothing know your ponds know your filtration and you'll be absolutely fine I'm going to draw the video to a close there. Follow me on social media. Facebook and Twitter is at the Paul and Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, popping up just down here, which is at the dot balding dot reefer. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.